in the CDPA of 4.0. Thank you so much for making time with us here. And this afternoon, I have this gentleman with me here, Emmanuel Chuneboa. We are going to be engaging him on some few things. So stick and stay. All right, so Emmanuel, you're welcome to Village Boy YouTube channel. Thank you, Village Boy. Okay. We are so privileged to have you here. And of course, today happens to be one of the special days that, you know, as the School of Physical Sciences, that is Dean's Awards, and you've been able to hold that mantle till now, level 400. I would say that a big congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, you did so, so well. I'm kind of imagining how you blend your academics and your social life, you know, to be able to hold this mantle is so, so wonderful. And uh, today we want to ask you a few questions. How did you make that possible? Okay, thank you and thank you viewers. And welcome to a Village Boy YouTube channel. Okay. As he said, I'm Emmanuel Chinebua, currently level 400 information technology. Mm. Okay, so God being so good, um, today was Dean's Award. Usually it is organized by School of Physical Science at the University of Cape Coast. And uh, we came here in 2019. Our first award was from 2020. And then, no, no, our first award was in 2021. Yeah, that's when we were in level 200. Then the 2022, 2023, which is today, for 2021, I was able to get the overall for 2022 to overall 300 and today to overall 400. I would say it has been wonderful and and I'm honored, okay. you know, for we are many and we all put in much of effort in making our grace steady. And at the end of the day, always they say one will lead. So I would say it, it's been hard work and grace. And then, as you also know, I'm a family man. So, and someone who acts like you, I just ask, mm -hmm. blending social life and academics. It's not that easy. Even as the madam, the one that stood on behalf of uh, the provost, she emphasized on it that relationship and academic. But then, no, mine is not, it is relationship, but it is marriage. So uh, the pressure sometimes is not as compared to do starting. Mm -hmm. And my wife is also very understandable. So when I come to school, she knows I'm in school and I'm having kids too, you, you are aware. So she also take care of them, even sometimes when they are sick and we are getting closer to examination period or even quizzes are coming. If it is not that serious, she wouldn't say because she knows it's my worry and I may try to come home. And so I would say I, I thank her very much for being or taking care of my back and supporting me and she has been wonderful and 
for most part, I would say she has done a lot. Apart from God, mm. she has done a lot in supporting me, as we also do our best in learning, so that we can take off our mind off back small. Okay. Yeah, she has, okay. she has been doing okay. very well. And please, uh, what's the name of your wife so that we congratulate her? So my wife is uh, Mrs. Jeanette Chenebua. All right, so Mrs. Uh, Jeanette Chenebua, we would use this opportunity as well to congratulate you for being behind or the backbone of Emmanuel Chenebua because you are so wonderful. God bless you so much. We appreciate you. Okay, so moving forward, um, you know, when you say hard work, how much is hard work? You know, because there are students out there, they, they also do the hard work, but still, so now tell us, how much is the hard work you need to put in your academic works? Okay, so that one I would say, you know, we all have a limit at the point where we say, here we cannot go again. So when we get here, mm. no matter how we push, we cannot go again. So maybe that is a fact. And then for me too, I was fortunate I went through college. So I know a bit of UCC before. Okay. Mm -hmm. College before... Okay, for some time, UCC was handling all the colleges. Mm, so we used to call them, when it is exams, we say, we are coming to write UCC, as they call uh, WASI, WASI or YX. Oh, okay. so, so, though you will be at the college, but you are writing UCC. So I when see. you see their car coming, then mm. you know it, the time is due. It's, it's, yeah. it's due. So I know a bit of UCC, maybe that one is giving me an, a bit of an upper hand over my my brothers that are and sisters that are forcing very very hard to, to mm. come up so maybe a college and then i've also been teaching for some time for about six years you know i taught four years before coming to school no okay. professional okay four years okay so when i'm reading i know reasonable questions that you can ask students from maybe a passage or whatever you've taught, reasonable areas you can ask them. You know, there are se several things that you teach, several things you talk about when you are teaching. Mm. Yeah, so when I'm reading, I know that this this part, if I am to set a question for students, this is very important and students need to know. Mm. So I know some, uh, maybe a bit of methods of certain questions or question certain techniques I know. Okay. So I'm able to blend that one with how and get lecturers as to. So you can predict question. And I also, for what I will tell, I don't do, though I'm saying I know areas that are important, but I don't do pick and choose. So I don't go to exams where and say that I'm, it may be four chapters were taught in a semester. Let me take maybe two serious and leave the others at least two questions will come definitely three questions will come from this area so no i make sure all i cover all the areas so meaning that you read all you read through sure all i cover all the areas that i can I all see. the areas you know you you, you definitely forget something mm. though you will cover that's human you will f just forget something but i make sure at least i have in depth, at least I've covered covered much, so that at least I'll be able to get much to talk about when I'm asked to write something. I see, yeah. I see. Thank you so much. And going forward, you know, what will be your biggest advice for students? Those um, um, in level hundred, level two hundred, three hundred, because right now you are in your final year. But what will be the biggest advice you give to them, so that at least they can also maintain their academic excellence? Okay, so we are from the IT background, mm -hmm. uh, computer science IT. For us, they always say grace is not that important. Well, well that, that is also true in some way. Because when you live here, you're going to face the world. But while you are here, then the grace is also, also important. For me, I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a father. So maybe I don't expect my child to come and tell me one day that I went to school and where's your grade or what are you doing and then you come and tell me that I want to do this, this, this so I'm not focusing on that then maybe you tell me before you go or you tell me at a point you are doing this so you focus on this then you don't use that as, as an excuse and not to learn so mm. where you are where you've been put if that is where you want to be just learn so on that point I would advise that 
as much as we blend other things, we shouldn't forget that we are in school. Mm. And definitely we'll be asked what we learned, we we asked to 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 remember, to put out okay. what we were taught. So for level 100, 200, what our advice is that uh, you, you, you participate fully in assignment and group. You know, some students, they hide behind others and they will never do assignments, especially group assignments. They will, so always, since it is a group, maybe you attend one or two or three, they will do. Mm. You don't know that the, the one, two, and three that did. When the same question comes in exams, there are those that, if the same question comes and you didn't participate, even if you look through, since you didn't participate, you may not remember much as compared to those that did it. Okay. So it is important to participate fully so that at the end of the, 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 the assignment, you know that this thing, when it comes in, I did it, so I can do it. So you don't focus much there again. Okay. Yeah, so that one is important. Mm. Assignment, any group thing you are supposed to do, if they are not doing it, Sometimes it's hard for me. I've experienced this many times. It's hard, but then take it upon yourself and then do it, or at at um, as much as possible. Try in a way to to let them understand the need for them to involve themselves, and and then so they involve themselves. If they do not know that, it might help you, and definitely it will to you. And that one will give an upper hand, and I mean, reading is very good, and it broadens your knowledge. And okay, yeah. okay. So, so and then they, 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 they have to start well. They have to start well. You know, for being at 3.92 as at now, mm -hmm. it's at 3.93 as at now. If I didn't start well early, at a certain point in level 200, I dropped. It was because I was already at a range where it was a bit comfortable. So even when you get bad results, the other ones that you did well are able to save you. Okay. So you don't know courses that will bring you down. So the ones you know that is you can perform better, just focus and then perform better there. So start well, level 100, level 200, start well. Oh, that will be the the advice I will give to them. And, you know, some students, especially level 100, they do not know that, you know, as for SHS and maybe JHS, quizzes are usually, let's say, clusters, mm. are usually not considered at the final examination. So, they, they are not aware that quizzes here is exams. Examination, quiz is an examination. So when you have a quiz, you should prepare enough as if you are going to write an examination, whatever you have covered, all the chapters you have covered and you are going to search for a quiz. Make sure you cover everything. Yeah, and always make sure that you don't trust what the lecturer will say when you are about to write a quiz. If you have, if you have taught about four, four chapters, and the lecturer is saying, I'm going to use the first two for the quiz. Some lecturers will bring, some, some may forget. So in their course of uh, setting the questions, they might say, well, for this one, it will be easy. Even if I've, I've told them now, I will not bring this part. Mm -hmm. this, this question will be easier to, for them to get it. Okay. And that question will come from the areas the lecturer told you that they will never. So whatever you've covered, just make sure you cover them before you go and sit for quiz. Quiz assignments are very important, especially quiz. For quiz is very important. So make sure you get your quiz right, at least for me, I usually my preferred range of CA is 35. Mm. And I get 35 apples, I know that this one, already I'm there. I need about 45 to get my A. And 45 out of 60, if you had 35 in CA, then 45 out of 60 is very easy or possible to get. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, so thank you so much for your time, Emmanuel Chenibua. And uh, what is your last words for Village Boy YouTube channel? Maybe you have your final words so far. Okay, so you, you know, we, we all started from villages. Mm. Like the last we wanted to. We, we okay, wanted okay, okay. So the background, we started from village as well, where we had no 
right up to, I think after SHS, I went to Tema, and when I returned from Tema, when I was coming, then I was told that the light has come. Mm. So I started SS before experiencing light. So those from the smaller villages, sometimes you don't perform better at the early stage. For me, I've not had any award right from primary, even at college, our, my name was mentioned once. But we do be better there, okay. to our limits. Okay. So let's say if the highest there is 20, mm. that would be the highest there. The high, yeah. uh, so we do better over there. Okay. But it will not be like those that had opportunity to be in the city. So mm. I would advise them that whatever they, they can over there, those from smaller towns, especially my younger brothers that may have the opportunity to watch this video. Just start it wherever you are, just start it and make sure that when you go out, you continue. And I promise you that when you go out and you meet them, maybe for the first time, it will not be better. But as you mingle with them, as you move along with them, and they begin to teach all of you the same thing. Then you will pick maybe from year one, year two. You get to pick, and then you will be at the same level. Even if I mention my SHS, you will not know mm -hmm. Jacobo Senior High School. If if not heard it before, but I believe we've had most students that went to well-known SHS. Sure. And there to be, it wasn't that bad, but like I said, it will not be better. So it will be the better within our own corner. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So there's those coming from the smaller villages. Encourage them that they are not lost. We are also from there. Mm. When I vacate, I go there, go to farm, plant cocoa, okay. everything. Eating from the farm like always do. That has experience I've, I've had it since childhood until after college. That's where I was even posted to even village to continue there mm. until I had a transfer to the uh, bit town that I started life with. So they can do it, and I encourage them that this is your maybe maybe I'm I'm I'm, I'm a big brother now. Mm. So your sure. your big brother telling you that you are you, you, where you are. It's unfortunate, but you're on the right path. Mm. You continue to forge ahead, and when you get to SHS, you try. At the SHS form two, you will be at the same level with them. As you continue, as you continue, then you will shine, and you will be the same level, and it may even be better. So, I encourage you to learn. And then my last words for Village Boy YouTube channel is that John is doing a very good job uh, letting those from uh, smaller towns to come to the limelight. Uh, for me, uh, I've had about three years experience conducting service in the smaller towns. Mm. Sometimes we go there, we walk, we will park motor somewhere and we will walk several months. Okay. You know, it is sometimes when you are there, mm. you think that the government or you are not part, you are part. When the Ghana Saskatchewan Service give a map, you see everything, every locality every is there. Covered. Where you are, the name of the, the, the town, the head of the, the chief, or mm. whoever is in charge of sure. that town. You know, sometimes it's not even a chief because it is a man living in his cocoa and a farm, or a farm. Mm. So that one, he, is, he, he or she is alone over there. So. But the name of that person and that village is there. Some, mostly it is the name of the person. So it's the Kujo men say, Kura, Papa, Ubi, Kura. They are all there. So I, 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 I hope that the support that Village Boy is championing for our villages come to the limelight as so that those that are supposed to make sure that at least basic infrastructure that will help cushion young talent from mm -hmm. the village. I will not say maybe, well, if my, if I didn't forge ahead through my parents' support, okay, 
maybe I wouldn't have reached here. Mm. And maybe something would have lost something to which now it has been clear maybe I can do something. I would have spoiled it somewhere. Mm. So we need to support them, sure. bring out those smaller those kids that are doing well over there and help them so they can also get better education, better environment at least, and then small, the basic amenities that we enjoy. Mm. If there is light, there is a network, there is water, hospital around so they can, maybe chip, even if it's a chips compound, no, yeah. yeah. Sometimes when I see chips compound, they are very, very important and though education is important, but chips compound in the interiors are very important. Exactly. Mm. exactly. So they also need one and and I hope that those that are concerned to making sure that the village Akume Sweet gets its share of the national cake they make sure they get and okay. Okay. thank you John okay. for for leading them through the right path okay. together with your community members helping okay okay all right so thank you for your time okay so I for on campus you know people like you you've helped me met ourselves we created a group so we are in the same class but there is also a group within the same class exactly so I have friends like John, like Andy, like Kingsford, like Wisdom, like Kojo. You know, Kojo has helped me a lot. Mm. So for Kojo, Kojo made my first open zero possible, I, I always say that. Mm. So Kojo, uh, my brother, Oheni, Alex, you guys, Equia, those small and then those outside that, there are many other, other ladies mm. there. Joy, Yvonne, Audrey, they, they, they've been supporting me in, in a way that maybe you cannot discuss it. But thank you all for, for your support. And I know that this award that I have had, this is the third time, um, and that will be the last. Mm. And to go to maybe the, that one, the rest will be the graduation one. Sure, sure. Okay, sure. So we hope we, we, we all get what we are hoping for. At least for now, we are all having a possible CGP that mm. we are hoping to graduate with. And it is my hope that through supporting ourselves, we get to reach where we want to get to before we, get, we graduate. And after graduation, we we'll meet ourselves and then smile. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So we appreciate your kind words. God bless you so much as well. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of this conversation. I didn't you, my family. Oh, <laughs> I'm leaving the you, you still cut. Okay. No, no worry. You, you, you know, okay, you yeah. know All right, so you can go ahead and greet your so, father. Like I said, my last week my daughter was not fine. So, uh, Skylar, she's Skylar, the eldest, and the other one is Michaela. Okay. So, Skylar, Skylar and Michaela. Michaela. Okay. <laughs> wow, punchline. My mother is <laughs> Janet. Okay. I love you guys. You know, you support us to keep moving. Sometimes it, it gets tougher moving up. Sometimes, mm. in the last semester, I, I, I said, no, I wish I, I didn't think UCC is tough. Mm. And UCC is tough. So it, it's, it's been their support. Okay. Sometimes people think, you are married, but why are you making it? it, it it's been their support, yeah. that's why we're here. Yeah. And the friends that are on campus, that mm. when things are not going well and we go home, they also give us necessary information so we can even, when we are not here, we can do assignment, give it to them to submit for us. Mm. Thank you, friends and guys, for, for your support so far. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much. We've come to the end of this conversation. And if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe to Village Boy YouTube channel and be part of us. We are on a journey to save our villages. And, and of course... <laughs> Don't worry. And of course, <laughs> I appreciate you so much. You know, today I posted a video on YouTube on our platform, and Wardemaya, the first Ghanaian YouTuber to hit 1 million subscribers, you know, shared it on Twitter and as well as in this YouTube community. We are doing massive. Very soon, he's going to be visiting us. And of course, um, 
you had the best student in the School of Physical Sciences, Emmanuel Chinebua. All right, I'm very much sure that you really enjoy this conversation. Be inspired and let's continue to make our world a better place. See you again. I am your village boy. Bye.